Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. And in today's video, we're going to be covering seven important clinical signs of possible vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, before we get into the main section of this video, it's important to know that vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, has several important functions in the body, including keeping the nervous system healthy and working well. If you're deficient in vitamin B12, so meaning that the levels of vitamin B12 in your blood are too low, then this can cause a wide range of problems, including extreme tiredness, a lack of energy, and also something known as paresthesia, which is essentially a fancy name for pins and needles. Vitamin B12 deficiency can also result in many more symptoms, and I've outlined these in the description box of the video. But in this video, we're going to be looking at clinical signs, so things that the doctor or healthcare provider can see on your body and can give them an important clue that you might be deficient in vitamin B12. So starting at the head and working the way down through the body, the first sign that you might notice is something called angular chelosis, also known as angular chelitis or angular stomatitis. This is where the corners of the mouth look cracked and you can see that in these photos on screen here. Now, this isn't specific to vitamin B12 deficiency, meaning that it can occur in other conditions, for example, inflammatory bowel disease, but it is an important sign to be aware of. Now, if you've got angular stomatitis or these cracked corners of the mouth, then it's important that you know that licking the lips will actually make this worse. And in most cases, no treatment is needed as it should get better by itself. But in some cases, you might want to try lip balm or topical antiseptic creams that you can rub on to prevent it from becoming infected. And if you're not sure on what to do or which creams or medicines to use, then speak to your pharmacist who will be able to advise you. Staying on the examination of the mouth, the second important clinical sign is something called glossitis. This is a red, smooth and shiny tongue, which you can see in these photos here. Almost one in four people who don't have enough vitamin B12 have got glossitis. And you might notice as well that the little bumps on your tongue start to become flat. And patients may also report a burning sensation of the tongue, along with itching, pain, or altered sensations in taste. Staying on the mouth, the third clinical sign you might notice are mouth ulcers. If the mouth ulcers are bothering you or causing a pain, then again, see your pharmacist who'll be able to recommend treatment. If the mouth ulcers aren't going away after three weeks by themselves, then you should see a doctor. Moving on to the hands and the feet, the fourth clinical sign is brown pigmentation, and this can affect the nail beds as well as the skin creases. You can see that in these photographs here. In this photo, you can see the brown pigment of the palms of the hands before treatment for the vitamin B12 deficiency. And then you can also see the color of the palms after the treatment has started. And you can see that it's begun to return to normal after the treatment has commenced. The fifth important clinical sign is something like episodic diarrhea. The reasons for this include that vitamin B12 deficiency can affect the gut. Vitamin B12 is important in the production of red blood cells. And if you don't have enough B12, your blood cells don't transport oxygen as well. A lack of red blood cells mean that not enough oxygen reaches the gut and this can lead to diarrhea. The sixth clinical sign is mild jaundice and that's a lemon or yellow tint to the skin or the white of the eyes. Long-standing jaundice can be a manifestation of B12 deficiency as a result of difficulties in red blood cell production, which we've already mentioned. The seventh clinical sign are pale mucous membranes. And by mucous membranes, I mean things like the lips or the insides of the eyes. So make sure you ask the patient to pull the eyelids down and have a look at the inside of the eyes. The paleness might indicate something like anemia. And again, this is secondary to low vitamin B12 levels. So in summary, these are just seven signs of possible vitamin B12 deficiency, and there are many more, which again I've mentioned in the description box of this video. If you think you might have vitamin B12 deficiency and you're unsure and you need to see a doctor, then please do check out the description box of this video where I've included lots more information as well as lots of useful links to resources like the NHS website and patientinfo.co.uk. There you can find more information out about vitamin B12 deficiency as well as its causes and potential management options. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and leave me a comment in the comment section. It's always great to hear from viewers. Thanks again for watching and until next time, bye.